Select the best reagent or set of reagents to accomplish the following transformation. So we want to do is we want to look at what our starting material is and what our product is, and we want to see if the carbon skeleton has changed and if the functional group has changed. Um, so we can see, and I'm just going to number kind of the longest carbon chain, um, and I'm not worrying about numbering it in order for nomenclature. In fact, it's actually the opposite as, of how you would name it for nomenclature, but that's okay because we're just keeping track of our carbon atoms. Um, so we see that we have this four carbon atom chain with a methyl group on carbon two. And so we can clearly see that methyl group here in the product. So this would be one, two, three, four. So our carbon skeleton here has not changed, but we have definitely changed the functional group. So we started with a nitrile and the product is a carboxylic acid. And so nitriles are carboxylic acid derivatives and all carboxylic acid derivatives can be hydrolyzed to give carboxylic acids. So we need hydrolysis conditions here. And so specifically for our less reactive carboxylic acid derivatives, So for less reactive carboxylic acid derivatives, for hydrolysis, we need either acidic or basic conditions. Just neutral water will not accomplish this. So if you are looking at acidic conditions, it's going to be acid, and you're also going to need to heat that up. Or you could do this under basic conditions, in which case you would first heat it with aqueous base, and this is going to be where the actual hydrolysis takes place. Um, but because this is an acid in basic solution, it would be present as the carboxylate salt. So after you finish the basic hydrolysis, you do a workup step by adding in a little bit of H3O plus to reprotonate. Right. So now that we've recognized um, that we have one of our less reactive carboxylic acid derivatives, and just to be clear, these less reactive derivatives are esters, amides, and nitriles. So your carboxylic acid derivatives that do not have good leaving groups. Um, so we need either this acidic conditions or basic conditions. And if we look at the options that we are given, we have the acidic conditions here for B.